Hey, you got Trucker Tim here with Double T Sports. This is not a verse in two packs, but I can make it that. I guess I could. Uh, today's Monday. What I want to talk about, some people have asked me, let me say a prayer. That way, when I, what I'm saying, I don't want to get, come out the wrong way. Lord, thank you for all that you do for me. I pray, Lord, that you bless my heart, bless my soul, bless my mind. Forgive me for my sins. Walk with me, talk with me, and work through me that people understand what I'm talking about. Thank you, Lord. Amen. What I want to know is some people ask me, what have I ever gave my testimony? Some people ask me why I'm so, why I talk so much of the Lord, you know, I, every so much every day and I'm going to tell you that one reason I do that is because that's all that's that's all I have in my heart and my mind yes I got my family I love my wife I love my little grandson all, but for me to go on through life being alive being happy down in my soul my wife and grandson can't give me that they can give me the happiness in my heart and you know, happy doing things with them, loving them, them loving me. But as far as the soul of God, I have to keep Him in my heart night and day. If you went through what I went through, you would too. Believe me, I want to give my testimony. Maybe nobody will listen, and some people do want to listen. They've asked me about it. It's something I might do in a church and have it recorded. Uh, something I don't know if I, how I can put it on YouTube or on my channel. That might be a link I might have to share um, with y'all so you can go see it. Because uh, it might last about 45 minutes. But I had a hardcore life. Starting out from my childhood on up. And it was either rehabs mental hospitals, rehabs, drugs, alcohol, and everything in between. And that don't make me a badass, it just makes it a journey. And we all go through a journey. I'm no badass at that. I've got my ass whooped more times than I can imagine. Um, and I've been in more, I've been in jail quite a bit, but not, I've not been in jail months at a time. I've been a few times here and there but uh, I'm thinking about, t praying about it, thinking about giving my testimony. Talk, I'm going to talk with my preacher and deacon and uh, because when I do it, I want to be baptized. I want to be cleansed of all this and I can think about it. I can forget about it, but never... I can forgive everything about it but not forget it and, and not have to dwell on it anymore because it comes up a lot in my life and I don't want to have to think of my past anymore. No more. Past is the past. Today is today. Tomorrow is tomorrow. After today, when tomorrow gets here, I don't have to think of today anymore. I can go back to my job and say, yeah, I did this this day and that's it. I want to get paid for it. That's it. You know? But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I want to get baptized after I give my testimony. So I'm going to find out about this. Um, I have to keep God in my heart, in my mind, and speak of the Lord all the time, 24-7. Seven days a week, 365 days a year. If I give up one day without thinking of the Lord, He might forget me. And I'm not going to have that. I'm keeping him to his promises. I'm keeping the Lord to his promises. Because I'm going to heaven. I'm going to be in that with my mom. I'm going to be. Whether the Lord, whether heaven's up there, here, or down here, you know, it's not going to be in the fire. You get what I'm saying? Everybody always points to heaven up here. So I gather it's maybe up in the clouds. I don't know. 
I'm not a Baptist, I'm not a assembly God, I'm not a Catholic. It's kind of like non-denominational. Okay? I wear what I want to wear to church. And I say what I want to say. And I believe what... I guess what Southern Baptists believe. I'm kind of Southern Baptist, but more non denominate I wear jeans. I can wear jeans to church and a t-shirt and be happier that because the Lord don't care what I look like. He uh, he's only proud and glad that I'm there. He don't care if I come in shorts and a holy t-shirt. He don't care. The Lord don't ask me to get dressed up in a suit. Tell me in the Bible where it says I need to wear a suit to church. Uh, a uniform to church. There is no uniform when you're trying to love God and go through life saved. Saved by the grace of God. You have your salvation. And salvation is is part is my my me being saved going through life happy and living a a Christian life the best I can okay and trying not to repeat my sins I try. it happens and I have to ask God to forgive me for that it happens but I don't do it every night and every day maybe I do cuss a little bit every day I'm trying to stop that. But I don't drink every night. I don't do drugs every night. And that's all the Lord's asking of me is not to repeat that. Now that's not talking about anybody or saying what anybody else should do. That is me. Because I had a drug problem. Okay? I had a bad drug problem at one time. And it is a problem still. If I let it, I'm not going to let it, though. Um, because the Lord has me, and I don't have to worry about that. That's just something I'm not going to do. Is uh, drinking all every night. Yeah, I have a few beers on the weekend, but it's like a glass of tea. I'll drink a couple glasses of tea and then put it down. That's what I do at home, these little mini eight ounce beers. I'll drink two or three and then I'll put it down. I don't get drunk, I'm not a drunkard, I don't catch a buzz. That's one thing the Lord I don't think would accept of me. And that's something I can't do. Because if I get that buzz, it's liable to guide me further. Wanting to do some drugs, some pills, some pot, something like that. I'm not saying pot's bad. I'm not even gonna have to sit here and keep explaining myself. I'm doing it, but I'm not going to keep doing it. Pot, do what you got to do with pot. That's between you and the Lord. Pills, do what you got to do for your pain, whatever. That's in between you and the Lord and your pain. Okay, I, I've taken them and I still do once in a while, I think. Um, the Lord works on me. And... If there's something he wants me to work on, he'll let me know. In my heart and in my mind, he'll somehow let me know. Whether it's through a person, um, a situation, you know, he'll let me know what I need to know. If I need to hear something, he'll let him make sure I hear it. One way or another. If I need to hear something, I'm going to hear it. Because I have a one-on-one -on -one with the Lord every day. I pray to Him. I'm basically talking with Him now. When I'm talking to y'all, the Lord hears me. The Holy Spirit guides me. The Holy Spirit knows what I'm doing. And if I'm saying something wrong, the Lord, the Holy Spirit will let me know. The Holy Spirit guides me talking to y'all. Through, He works through me. Um, guides me through life every day. I can't explain it to you, but it's just how he does. It's not really a feeling. It's just a way of life. But I don't get a buzz, and I don't get out of my mind where I can't rem 
know what I'm doing every second of the day. That's something the Lord wouldn't accept of me. And that's something I can't accept to myself. Because if I get that little bit of buzz, I might be off and running. And no, you or nobody else can stop me. I'll take your money, my family's money, your family's money. I'll steal it, take it, rob it, do whatever I got to. That's the way I used to be and I don't want to be that anymore. Some people can go through life drinking and drugging and not be harm a person, not be a mean person at all. But one day it'll catch up to them. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I'm going by my life. Let's go by my life. I can't go by yours, my wife's, my grandson. All I want to do in life is be the best son of my father I can be. I'm a fallible child of God and I want to be the best child of God I can be. And if that means I have to talk about the Lord every day, every minute, every second, and pray to Him every minute, every second, I'm going to do it. Because that keeps me sane. And I'm not going to be insane again the way I used to be, man. Off and, off and running with a needle in my arm or a pill in my mouth or a joint in my mouth or a drink. Or, I'm not going to do all that. I had plenty of that. I shouldn't be here today, but the Lord seeing fit for me to continue my journey. And my journey consists on spreading the gospel to y'all, and that's what I'm doing. So I'm kind of spreading this today. There's a little bit of my testimony right there. A full testimony would be from my young life, from the time I got saved till basically from the time I got saved till now um, and whatever's in between I want to talk whatever the good the Holy Spirit guides me to talk about um, I'm living my life the best I can with the Lord and he knows that anything he needs me to correct he will let me know okay all right, I love y'all. God loves you too. I'm open up a couple packs and get back to trucking. I stop. Got me a latte. A latte. I love getting the lattes up here up north, the rudders, and getting me some corn bites. And then I can get on down the road. I got about 11 hours of driving to do. And uh, I'll be at my destination, and I got to do. One more quick run, and then I can go to another place and then go to bed. So I may not go to bed till late, late tonight, or morning hours, and then I have to get five, six hours of sleep and do it again. It's just part of trucking sometimes. I'm looking at, and if my boss or anybody sees this, that's fine. I'm looking at trying to get some concerns with work figured out. Um, I'm not liking some things here. Um, I've been patient, I've been with them for a little over two years, and I've been sticking with them, trying to help them get back on their feet, but when the Lord guides me to doing other things, uh, maybe owning my own truck, maybe getting on a lease to purchase program, or getting into a truck, a job that I'm home every day. I'm looking to make more money, and I know hey, I you was... you ahead of me if you want. I'm going to eat something real quick. Well, I'll eat you something, brother. Excuse me. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Had to turn that down. But yeah, I uh, got off track there. He did. Uh, anyway, yeah, I stopped, got me a little something to eat, and I'm going to get on down the road. I'm not happy with, totally happy with my job, and I'm sure they're not happy with their company. They're doing the best they can, but I'm looking at maybe mo uh, moving forward. Because I was making real good money here, and the rates have went down on, on freight, and every trucker's money has went down from what it used to be. Uh, I know I can make more. I've been out here somewhat 25 to 26 years, and uh, I'm not sure exactly. 
I would have to go really research to find out how long. I know it's been 25 to 26 years I've been out here. Enough experience, put it that way, and I keep an open mind to know about it every day. Yes, I've been rambling a little bit, but that's the only way I know to explain some things sometimes. So let me open a couple of packs here. A couple of packs out of this hobby pack box still. I love it, man. I, get, I stretch it out. It's the way I like doing it. Zach Wheeler. If y'all have any questions, Leave it in the comment section, ask me about me, my life, about the Lord, uh, anybody needs to, wants to get saved, anybody needs to talk, uh, let me know. I, I'm, I'm a good person to listen. I'm a good person to talk to, but I will listen. Joey Gallo, hit, he hits, he don't hit the ball, it's either walk, Home run. Um, it's either a walk or a home run. He very seldom just hits and gets on base. It's either a walk, a strikeout. A strikeout, a walk, or a home run. He never hits the ball. Joey Gallo. Believe me, I know. He was with the Yankees for a bit. Max Muncy. All right. My name is... My name is... Babe Ruth, roll call. Babe Ruth, whoop whoop. What a hit, that's a good hit. We got a full of Yander Molina. Well, I know somebody's got a slab I want. Got a couple slabs I want right now. And a slab is, a lot of people know what a slab is. It's a raw card like this, but encased in something. And it's been looked over. And it's Jim at zero through ten. Somebody's got a couple of Tyreek Hills. One of them I really want. And I'm trying to work out a deal with them. Max Kepler, uh, Brendan Donovan, uh, Jerickson Profar. None of these are rookies. It's base. Yeah, I ramble a little bit when I'm trying to explain or talk, but. Maybe you call it that, maybe you don't. A rookie of Oscar Gonzalez. That's just me. It's the only way I can get out stuff. Is sometimes mumble all the way through. David Villar. And I still may do a, another version two packs tomorrow. This is basically a conversation with friends. Whoever supports my channel, watches my videos, that's who I'm talking to. You and the Lord. Bubba Thompson. I like that card. It's with the Rangers, huh? Rookie. So yes, whoever supports my channel, watches my videos every day, thumbs up to you because I'm there's a million people out here on YouTube and you've came to this channel to watch this every time I approach the video and make one or something you're watching and I really appreciate it. You don't know how much but I'm fixing to show you. It's got a big box of rookies in and I've got cards. I'm going to start having some giveaways and showing the people that I really care about on YouTube by giving y'all some cards like a mystery pack or a rack something. Eight bit ballers. Pete Alonzo. We got a Matthew Libertor rookie foil. We got a Jeff McNeil. Connor Joe and a Jose Siri base card. <coughs> and that's about it, folks. We're at the 20 minute mark, and I didn't even, wasn't going to make a quick video like that, but I did. So we got a hit here of Matthew Libertor, Bitballers, Pete Alonzo, Yander Molina, and my name is, my name is. Babe Ruth. 
Alright, God loves you, so do I. Whoop, whoop. Have a wonderful and a blessed day. And I hope y'all understand what I'm talking about. Leave a comment, please. Leave a comment. Uh, ask a question. Uh, Alright, God loves you, so do I. Hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful and a blessed day. Peace.